Well, we're going to come in for a visit, and uh, everybody's actually cleared out, but we're here at Minus Space, and we're talking to Matthew Delegate, the director here, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this memorial show for Julian Dashpur, one of uh, one of the artists that you showed, and uh, one of uh, our friends that we've met here from New Zealand. Exactly. Well, welcome. Uh, we've got a show up of... Uh, uh, a New Zealand artist named Julian Dashper. He was born in 1960 and died last year. And the show at Minus Space is um, documenting uh, sort of the one year anniversary of his, of his death. And uh, what we decided to do rather than sort of a standard sort of solo exhibition um, project with Julian, which we unfortunately didn't get to do when he was still alive, uh, we decided to do more of a crowdsource exhibition um, where we invited um, artists, primarily artists, to submit um, texts uh, to be displayed in the exhibition. And you, um, said, you said you had about 80 people respond so far? Yeah, we have about 80, 80 artists from around the globe that submitted texts. Some, uh, we restricted everybody to one eight and a half by 11 or eight This is a very poignant one. This is by his wife, and I'll just read part of it here. It is life, it is life, it is death, it is death. I found these words written on a 5A piece of paper in the filing cabinet in the laundry when I was going through it a few months after you died. When did you write this? Are they your words or did you find them and write them down? Were you already ill? Did they help? But that's kind of one of the poignant examples of some of the memoirs or poems or whatever of Julian. Yeah, that was what was pretty amazing about it, which was, you know, we invited people um, through both Marie Shannon, who's an artist, and um, Julian's wife, and a couple of other artists, uh, Victoria Monroe and Jan van der Plug, and we put a list of people together to invite, and they in turn invited other people, and we weren't really, you know, um, kind of knowing about what, what kind of stuff they were going to submit, so they submitted everything from you know, poems to prayers to... And this is a handwritten letter. letter by Julian here, right? Yeah, and that's a handwritten letter by Julian to okay. one of the artists, Jan van der Plug. Uh, it was the first letter that he'd ever written to him in 1993. Um, so we've got handwritten notes, we have printed emails, we've got typewritten documents. And tell us about this piece here. I think this is pretty uh, amazing. So this is a piece that's an ongoing piece of Julian's called Future Call. And it's basically a telephone, and um, it is a piece that Julian would traditionally call uh, from New Zealand to the venue where the telephone was installed, and the telephone was always installed in a different time zone. So in this case, uh, New Zealand is either 16 or 18 hours ahead of New York, and um, it's basically a call that's made from the future. But Julian's always performed this piece, uh, but for the sake of this show, we had um, his wife do it, so she was great enough to volunteer to perform the piece. So she calls it uh, from time to time. She called it a couple of times during the course of the opening today. And um, the intent is that you let it ring and you leave it unanswered. So we thought it was a pretty good, pretty good piece to enjoy. The unanswered call from the future. Exactly. Good piece for a memorial show. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Call, call from Nizzy. Okay, there it is. All right. Now, the tragedy was that Julian died of, was it lymphoma? Something like that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm at not the totally age of 49. Sure. He died uh, early, um, 49 years old, and, um, you know, had a good, solid 30 year career. And, um, and he was well known as not only an artist, but friend, father, mentor, and a real kind of um, source of a lot of energy and a lot of. Uh, inspiration for a lot of uh, New Zealand artists, right? Indeed, I think that comes through in the, in the letters that people wrote, which is, you know, how absolutely generous he was with other individuals. Um, okay, well... And that's his legacy that we wanted to have come out and show. That's great. Thank, thanks, Matthew. And there's a picture of Julian Dashpur right there. Thanks, Kate. <laughs>